A few years ago, we bought our son a stunt scooter, a Mongoose Stance. We bought it from Halfords, a well-known store here in the UK. It's been a pretty good scooter, and we don't really have any complaints. Our son has grown a lot since then, so we went back to see if they had anything a bit bigger. Unfortunately, the other scooters were about the same size. Because we had been so happy with the Mongoose, we decided to fit it with a longer bar. This turned out to be a bit more complicated than it sounds. The problem was that the mongoose had a threaded fork, which means the original bar was also threaded and the fork screwed into it. Unfortunately, we couldn't find bars of that type. After a bit of research, we decided to get a universal bar adapter from Lucky Scooters in America. We couldn't find it in the UK, so we had to order it direct. The part cost about three pounds and shipping cost about 17, which was a bit mental, but what can you do? The adapter is a small rubber-like tube that fits over the threaded fork and the new bar fits over the adapter. The thread on the forks was slightly longer than the adapter. When we fit the adapter, the thread was showing between the adapter and the headset, so we had to cut it back a little bit. We bought a long bar from Skate Hut, here in the UK, along with some grips. This type of bar is compatible with HIC headsets and has a slit cut into the bottom of it. We chose it because the Mongoose's original bar had a slit cut into the bottom too. It also had to be oversized to work with the adapter. Apparently, there are two types of bars, standard and oversized. It refers to the diameter of the tube. We wanted to use the original clamp from the Mongoose, but it would not fit. I assume it was standard size, so we had to get an oversized clamp, which we again bought from Skate Hut. If there's anyone watching from Lucky Scooters, wondering why we didn't buy all this stuff from them, it's because of the shipping cost from America to the UK. Last but not least, we fitted the grips. We used a cable tie method to fit the grips. If you're interested, there's videos on YouTube explaining the different methods for fitting grips. And here it is, the finished article in all its glory. I'd just like to say that we had positive experiences with all the companies mentioned in the video. Delivery was always quicker than I thought it would be. One final note, because the bar is longer, the amount of leverage is going to be greater, and I'm a little bit worried about it being able to take the strain. I've got a feeling 720 millimeters might be too long. Dan isn't getting any smaller though, so I guess it won't be too long for too long. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.